Hey there fellow YouTubers, Frank Bush here again. Just thought I'd uh, show you the new prototypal walled tent that I've put together. This is made out of polyethylene blue tarp, if you will, 15 foot by 20 foot that I just cut out the doors and that kind of stuff. But uh, as you can see, and doors that uh, seal up with carabiner clips. I'll do a close-up of that. And they just go through the loops, clip in. I've got them at one foot spacings all the way down. I'll just kind of do a pan around of it. So this tent is uh, 13 foot in depth. I just use sticks with some tie-out points to kind of ridge the walls up. And as you can see, and then I put an uh, extra support stick in the back to kind of keep everything tight and firm. There's an airport close by, so if you hear the airplane, sorry about that. So you can see, here's where the carabiners are all kind of tied off and everything. Doesn't make a perfect seal, but this is designed to have a hammock kind of feed in through the top section. Normally these sticks wouldn't be here, but the hammock that feeds in through the top section so that uh, the hammock can slide up and down with the weight of a body without having it be a, a problem, if you will, for the, keeping the doors closed. This is uh, mainly designed to keep the wind and rain off you. It's not necessarily 100% bug proof or anything, but uh, when it comes to hammock camping, that's uh, the main problem is the wind and the rain. So I'll just go inside here. And as you can see, I set up a little bench for the kids to sit and have breakfast at. And I've got a stove in here, propane stove. There's a fire ban on right now. So having a propane stove allows us to heat things and that kind of stuff without it being an issue. And uh, this is uh, six foot tall. Um, when I'm standing here, or when I'm standing upright, I'm, I, I'm able to do so. As you can see, this is normally where the hammock would just slide through the opening. And uh, I had everything fairly sealed up. I'll just sit down in the chair and give you a scope of things. So, being 13 by 6 foot wide and 6 foot tall, that creates like a small, almost like a living room environment really. I've got a bench set up that's big enough for three people to sit on just with some logs in here and stuff and use the log as a table. <laughs> and, uh, like I say, I'm just using a little Coleman stove. And, uh, I find that uh, the other morning it was about 14 degrees Celsius. And within 30 to 45 seconds uh, from turning on the stove, this entire room heated up to be in the mid-20s. It's a rapid way to kind of give you a temperature-controlled room. I normally have, from the ridge line that goes along the top here, I normally just hang a flashlight, like a little lantern and it uh, throws light into the space. But uh, this is amply big enough to have uh, four six foot tall, 200 pound people sleep on the floor and potentially one up in the hammock. Uh, so potentially you could fit five people into this thing. Currently this weighs about uh, four or five pounds. It's like I said, just made out of a polyethylene tarp. I used uh, Gorilla Tape to kind of just seal off all the seams and that. I've got tie outs that are just hooked in, little blue clippies, you can buy those at any kind of hardware store or anything. But uh, my good version that I eventually want to build of this will be using uh, Sil Nylon probably, uh, 1.6 ounce. I'm hoping to get this entire tent down to about three pounds. And it's, uh, it's been a real blessing to have when I was camping with the family though. Instead of just having tarps and tents, this gave us a, a climate controlled environment. Uh, and it really, it really helps. Early in the mornings and in the evenings when, you know, if things start to cool off and you just want to have kind of a warm little place to hang out, this has definitely helped the cause. So, if you have any comments or questions, feel free. Like I say, I'll, I'll do more posts as I go when and make the new, you know, kind of good quality version. This really was prototypal. Took me about 15 hours or so to make this just out of a 15 by 20 blue tarp that I cut out the doors and stuff and then the remainder of the tarp became the main body. It's all seamless. I didn't have to do any sewing or stitching or anything. It's uh, the actual main body of it is uh, 
13 foot in depth and I believe 15 feet that goes all the way, you know, kind of up over and around down the other side and then it just goes into the walls. It's 14 feet to make it cleanly touch the wall, but I like to have about a 16 inch or six inch overhang on the bottom where any breeze or anything coming in, it just helps kind of curtail any winds that might be blowing in from the sides. And as you can see, there's a crack or two along, but it does seal up quite nicely. The, the tricky part is uh, when it comes to any of these kinds of tents is you need to find a place that's going to be, you know, like I say, a six foot wide and then 13 foot uh, depth uh, footprint of, you know, level land. I set this up a few times now and uh, having it set up on uneven terrain, it works and does everything, but it's not quite as ideal. It really is best suited to be on flat level terrains as, as much as possible. But as it goes for uh, adding in my hammock, I would have strapped that in and shown you guys where, like I say, where it would just kind of feed through both doors and then just hang and be able to kind of sway. But um, I'm having hammock strap issues, so the next time I do a video off, uh, hopefully I'll be able to have the hammock and everything set up and you guys can get a full real world flavor of how this thing works. This whole thing cost me less than $100 to make and 15 hours worth of time. Uh, I know it's, you know, blue ethylene, polyethylene tarp, so they're not really known to be the most resilient tarps, but I wanted to really just test this out to begin with to make sure that the concept was working solidly. And I am thoroughly impressed. We have another tent that uh, the family's just sleeping in, but uh, we tend to spend the majority of our time other than just sleeping in this tent just as a living room, as a comfort zone, if you will. So, like I say, if you have any questions or comments, feel free. Cheers. Bye.